Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Chalfont St Peter's today in Buckinghamshire. It's currently raining, but I think it's just about stopping. I can see a bit of blue sky over there. I'm just on the edge of the village and we're going to have a look at the River Misbourne. And I don't have to walk much further to get there because it's overflowed a bit. The Misbourne is really just down there, but we've got some floods. So it's funny with the Misbourne, it's either dried up usually or it's flooded and then um, you know, you'll get it flowing in between as a normal river. I have done videos along the whole of the Misbourne in the past, but today we're gonna explore the floods. Now, when I was down here not so long ago, you can just see, see that post there? I'd walked along that path thinking I was gonna go across there, walk along the fields, jumps and jars. I got to there and realized I couldn't because it was flooded. The flood water's now come this far. I'm going to, I've got my wellies on. I'm going to attempt to get through there. I don't know how successful it will be. Um, I may have to turn back and find another route, but I just thought for a bit of fun we'll see how far we can get. So far, it's not too bad. And the water's fairly clear. It's a bit dodgy when it gets to the point where the water is that you can't see through it. I think you've got to be careful. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not going to get through there because have a look. It's almost over top of my ways. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a bit of a hasty retreat here. What I'll have to do, if we can find a way round, we'll go and have a look. Because there's a bridge just over there. I don't even know if I can get... The thing is, even if I get over this bank, there's flood water down there. I'll just make it through here. Uh, yeah, just, just about. I've done videos like this in the past. I did one in Denham. We had a similar situation. And I'll walk through a really long bit of flood didn't get water in my wellies and then at the last moment I stepped in a bit that was just a little bit too deep and had very wet feet. Uh, now can I get through here? So yeah that way was out of the question. If you look here, so the other day I'd walked along here and like I say I got over this hump, couldn't see any water because when I went to turn left I realised it was flooded. I might be able to get through this section. Um, on the other side of the fence over there it's the scout hut. I remember going there when I was in the scout. Yeah this water look is is nothing. Um, it, it looks this this one looks worse than it is. I remember over the years various floods in Chalfont St Peter. I remember sort of as a child, like the river, it was either dried up or it was flooded. And I remember which year was it? Maybe I think 2001. Maybe we had probably the worst floods we've ever seen. In fact, that was when I actually started in the Scouts. And a bit like today, the Scout Hut was flooded, and we were out of the Scout Hut. For a long time and we used to have to have the scouts up at the up at the scout camp in Chalfant Heights which was a lot more exciting than down here and I think we're all a bit disappointed when we eventually did move back here. Uh, the water is getting a little bit deeper but again not it's not impassable if you've got wellies. My plan is if we go down here I'll, I'll run back and have a look at the bridge on the other side and then what I'll do we'll go down to the village and see what the water is like there. So I'll get to here um, I could go down there, but I'm going to get out the water and go up up these steps. So that's where we've just been through there. I, ho I hope the scout hut isn't going to be as badly damaged as it was back in 2001. I don't think it is, and I think it. Remember that us been shown the floodgates that had fitted. So I'm just coming up here now into Millennium Wood. I remember when this opened. I remember coming to a barbecue here. They had in Chalfont St Peter when they opened Millennium Wood. We go down there now. Let's go and find the river. See what we can find. This is the other end of the path up through Manelian Wood, and we're going to come across the river here. We're a fair bit higher than the river, so as you can see, no problems with floods here. But just behind this ivy here is the river, and it's looking higher than usual, which kind of explains the flood. Can't see much of it there. Look, look at that. How probably the road bridge, which takes you into the community centre. There's probably only about a foot, if that, of, of space. We're going to go down there, as I said, towards the village. Oh look, the, um, the snowdrops are out, that's good to see. I'm going to walk up here and uh, we'll go and find that bridge that we couldn't get to. So, I'm further down now. The river is there, obviously a lot higher than it normally is. There's the entrance to the Scout Hut, which looks like the whole of its grounds are completely flooded. We're now going into Mill Meadow playing fields on the edge of Chalfont St Peter. So this is that bit higher up so this generally 
doesn't flood. I've never seen this flooded, so I think we're right here. It'd be interesting. I'm not going to do it today, but if I was to walk to St Giles, if I could get all the way there, a few weeks ago, or was it a couple of weeks ago, I tried to take the footpath up by Water Hall. I didn't have wellies on. I had to turn back. I couldn't get through. Oh, look at this. This is amusing. I probably can get quite easily onto the bridge, but I can go over it, but I can't get very far beyond it. We'll see how far we can. Sorry, that was me just making sure I'm securing the camera. I really don't want to drop the camera. One thing I'll point out, look, is one of these plaques. I've done videos on all of these plaques around Chavels and Peters. If you want to see that playlist, have a look at the screen now. I can do a whole tour of Chavels and Peters past and present. I think these are great assets. Let's attempt to get in. So, with the bridge, I think this bridge was fairly recently replaced. When I came along here the other day, there wasn't water going over the bridge. I walked over the bridge, but I couldn't get very far beyond here. It was it was uh, completely flooded. I think I can probably just about step off the end. Yeah, um, but I can't really get any further. So, if you look, the path goes round there. I'd be interested to know, if only I could like mark it somehow, and then when I came along when the floodwaters have subsided see exactly how high it was but the original plan was to walk through there probably a couple of weeks ago with the floods I could have got through there but the water is that much higher get quite an interesting if I just stay on the edge get an interesting view of the river flowing over the top of the bridge I suppose it's not much point saying they should make the bridge higher because when you get to here unless you're going to build a boardwalk all the way through and um, you know that's what's going to happen I'm going to now go down towards the village and we're going to go and look for a, another bridge which i have a feeling might be in a bit of a similar situation i'm now back down the other side of the community center river higher as usual i noticed the path on the other side a couple of people walked that way and i saw them coming back the way they just came so i'm getting the impression they can't get through so uh, we'll have a look See what's going on i think there see how there's a bit of a, a wave in the river i don't know how clear that is i think it's about here there's a pipe yeah i can just see it now i used to like walking across that pipe when i was there so especially when the river was dried up because if you fell you weren't going to get wet there's no way i'm trying it today now this bridge here is looking very much underwater i always remember as a child there used to be a much lower bridge and the much lower bridge always did flood and then at some point, they replaced that bridge with this bridge, and it doesn't flood as often, but as you can see today, it does sometimes flood. Now, can I get through, the question is? And it looks like, yeah, it's a lot worse on the other side, because not only is it going over top of the bridge, it's also going down the path. I think I might, I can probably just get around the edge of this hedge. Yeah, this isn't too bad. And I can get onto this bit of pathway. I can get onto the bridge itself. So oh, that's the main road, the A413. This is the bridge, and um, down there's the Greyhound pub. I actually remember as a child, the river used to do, used to have a different course here. Oh, this is called the Vic Woodson Bridge. I understand Vic Woodson did a lot of work to, you know, restoring the Misborn following a long period of being dried up. The river actually used to go ahead, see where I'm pointing, it used to go ahead there, and then take a sort of a bit of a S bend. And I always remember, even when it was dried up, they used to maintain some water in one part of it and it was like a duck pond so there was always water in that little bit that didn't really flow the question is how far can i get around here um so as i said i saw two people probably not wearing wellies got to there they stood and gawped at the situation in front of them and they turned around rather sensibly and went back i think i can get through here but up here is the village car park you can see how flooded that is so yeah i'm gonna get i'll be all right getting through here and um see what it's like in the village centre. So I'm not sure if we'll find out in a moment. Are cars going to be able to get through the village or are they... It's getting deeper. Um, or are they going to have to go another way around? I'm just have to yeah, watch where... Rather than constantly talk with the camera, I'm going to have to keep... Excuse me to keep looking down, but I'm going to make sure I don't, you know, step into the water. I think it's OK along here. See where I've just been see the bridge and there's another one of those plaques there like i said if you want to see about the plaques look at the um the videos i made i made them during the period of 2020 just after the lockdowns and then they added a few more so last year i made part five 
this is the village car park. Oh, uh, sorry, that was my camera getting stuck on that stick. Um, this is the village car park. Or part of the village car park. And yeah, one or two cars. I wonder if when those cars there parked there, they knew, I don't know how much the flood water's risen because, you know, usually it can rain a lot one day, even when the river's dried up, and then it doesn't actually start flowing until maybe a week or so later. I think, yeah, I'll be all right to get through here. And um, I can see here the, the water's all flowing off back into the main course of the river. Also, just up here, there is another river, or a tributary of the Mistbourne, which runs along the back of the park, and it's culverted under here. That flows into the main Mistbourne. If you want to see that, I did once make a video called Tributaries of the River Mistbourne, and we explored all those tributaries. Those poor snowdrops there, completely pushed over by the force of the water. So it looks like the bridge into the Greyhound pub for anyone who wants a drink is quite handily above the water. Here, you can, it's not that obvious. You can just see a bit of sort of bubbling, but that down there, that's where that tributary flows into the main course of the river. Now I can see some workmen up ahead and they've put some tape across. So with them being there, probably better not walk through there. Maybe it is too deep. We'll go up to the tape and I'm gonna have to probably walk around through the church. In fact, can I hear a pump? Maybe they're trying to pump pump it out. Oh look, Thames Water are here. So they obviously don't want us going through there, even though I probably could with my wellies, I better not. Uh, it looks as though the road through the village is closed. Let's go around through the churchyard and we'll have a look that way. Let's go just so here is the uh, partially flooded car park. Um, so yeah, like I say, I wonder if those cars, especially that one there, did they know it was flooded when they parked there. I have seen, you know, more of the car park underwater and it could well be. I'm not saying I definitely will. We'll have to see what happens over the next couple of days. I may have to come down if the water gets any worse. I might come and make another video, but I probably won't. Right, here's the church. I was christened in this church. So this is the... If we go around this way, the side that not most people don't go around, we're out of the way and we can have a look over the fence, get a closer look at what's going on. I remember when they built this little extension to the church. There it was. Parish church, right. The fenced off path, or taped off path, was here. And the water hasn't, I don't think I've ever seen the churchyard flooded. Oh, if you look across to what I still call the George, but I think it's now some sort of Turkish restaurant. I was going to make that into a Weatherspoons. Or well, wish we had a Weatherspoons to jump to these. Anyway, it's flooded outside there. The road is clearly closed. And then this is where the river flows under the road. Like I say, on my past and present videos, I'll show you the old pictures. You can see it was actually once a ford. And the reason they left just past that fence, they left an area for horses to come down and drink the water. I don't know if I'd want to drink the water today, even if I was a horse, but that's what they did. Right, now we'll go around. There's another, it's like a big tanker lorry, just reversing. Um, and then, yeah, we might, so the precinct is closed. Now, I always think with the precinct, so really, what they could do, because half the time you can't ever get a car in there, they could, with the river flowing underneath it, if they dug it out, a bit like they did in Hemel Hempstead, and made it into like a nice sort of village, sort of plaza area. And you could have the river, you know, flowing through the middle, and everyone could just park their cars over there, or walk. I've, I've always walked to the village, so that's just an idea. Right, I think what we'll do, um, Again, I probably could get there, but I might get run over by a reversing tanker. So when they've come to pump out the water, this time I'm going to worry about being run over. Across here, it looks as though, I don't know, maybe they're sandbags. I don't think they are, though. Anyway, this is, um, you know, we can see the extent of, I hope there's not too much damage for everyone. Um, but, yeah, this is, what's, this is what we've got in Chalfonts and Beta. Another time, I do remember once the floods had just started and they hadn't closed the road, people were driving through. So I just stood and videoed. You can have a look at that video if you want. Uh, it's link on screen. I just stood and videoed all these cars driving through. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And as we reflect on Chalfonts and Peter in the floods, goodbye.